Dirt is presented by Unleaded 88. First ever meeting between Florida Atlantic. Hey, because this is an offensive line that needs to start to grind people out. They should outweigh this, this to bounce. Not necessarily once you want to be in a third long situation here. Altmaier with plenty of time. Looking for Isaiah Williams. You wanted to get him just throughout the week. They felt Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, three of the best offensive practices of the season so far. And Isaiah Williams right back re-involved, making a few men miss and breach in Florida Atlantic territory. Altmaier with an empty backfield this time. They tried to get those tunnel screens going last week. C1 early on there, pass it in front of Isaiah Williams. Yeah, they started Isaiah Williams. Boy roster. Some of these guys went to high school with a few of the Florida Atlantic players. Look at the offensive line there leading the ground game before this third week. He's still getting more comfortable there. Definitely looks like they're going to run it here. They do. And once again, the Florida Atlantic D-line was there, but it looks like Illinois has just enough to put in a nice job here with trips down to the bottom of the screen. And Weston's a guy they just need to put the ball on. This is a young man that I believe that could start anywhere in college football. He's just that talented. We'll see how good he Backed up here, second and goal, and a timeout called by the Florida Atlantic sideline as they have a First charge, big timeout. opportunity FAU. early on in this game. Knocking on the door. Gonna run, wanna run the ball, and he's gonna have opportunities inside, right on the outside, trying to get an early start on the motion with Wester. Richardson has Wester. Made one man miss, got inside the five. But able to drop the guys up front. Desmond Tisdall on that last tackle, third and 11 for Altmaier. And he is promptly met in the backfield. The Florida Atlantic D line step. Most to that is their offensive line. New starting quarterback this week, Richardson, dumps it off here to BJ Alexander, Miami Gardens, Florida native. Again. Yeah, you see him just hesitating just a little bit. And some people will call that a pick play, but you saw the receiver turn his number to the quarterback, put his hands up. It was really just enough to get to be able to convert this situation. This time able to convert to KC Washington, who's picked up, picks up a first down for Illinois. Gain of 10 name that Chuck Sizzle returned an 80 yard <laughs> punt, by the way, for the Bengals. Some trickery here. Altmaier looking deep down the sideline. Has more open and into the end zone. Illinois. Meanwhile, Richardson rolling. Of course, have to keep an eye on the man who just caught the football, Ajante Wester. He caught that 22 yard touchdown. <laughs> too. Richardson hands it off this time to Kobe Lewis, who was at Purdue a season ago. Knows these Big Ten fields well. That was a physical run. Penetration. That's what you're looking for if you're an Illini fan. Kanena Odaluga was in there. <laughs> Bit of a delay there. Now the Aussie lets it go, and that's fair caught by West. Backed up. You still have to understand where Wester is on the field at all times. Right on cue, they go to Wester through the air, made the first man miss. Now he's waltzing up the sideline with Michael Johnson Jr., who's really a running QB. And right on cue, he opts to run. May have came up short here. Illinois defensive coordinator Aaron Henry told us they had an entirely different game plan for Michael Johnson. Out to punt with Isaiah Williams back to return. Big stand for the Illini defense. As you approach that middle eight that we talked about in this football game. Catch this. This is a nice streak he's got going there, right? That and his leadership as well as a captain on this team. So important. They go right back to him. And one of their captains gets up near the 45-yard line. Isaiah Williams. The team has been bringing pressure off his right side again. Once unblocked. But this is what Luke brings to the table. His ability to extend the play. Right? He's got five receivers. All stall the drive, but he's able to come back, get in rhythm. David Alano. Kickoff specialist today for Illinois, getting his first opportunity to do that role. Freshman from Naperville, a season ago, started 10 out of 12 games for the Huskers. Richardson started at Central Michigan a season ago. This pass was broken up. That DB culture we talked about with Illinois and Florida Atlantic out of high school. Jacksonville, Florida native. This time coming up to make the tackle is Miles Scott, who is one of the. 
is well protected. Once Isaiah Williams just overshot him. Was Altmaier used his legs to get in the end zone in the last Illinois touchdown. This will not be enough for a first down. Then some extracurricular activity in that pile. Howard, you Altmaier dumps it off. And good to see Reggie Love back in the football game. They're going to try to bring the safety over the top of Isaiah, but he'll be one-on-one. -on -one. You've been predicting them well today. That's who they want. Isaiah Williams open again. They just couldn't quite connect with him. Uh. Altmaier drops for the second time today by Marlon Bradley. His second sack on the Illinois QB will be the one in white. They flip it out here. Tony Johnson spun down. Kanena Odaluga to starting lineups on both sides of the ball. It's paid dividends for him. Richardson's going to run and scoot out of bounds here. To your point, some may be wondering why it's not. Date. Richardson wants Burton. Turns back to the football. Nice play from Zachary Toby. In on the coverage, true fresh matched up against Burton there on your screen. They go back to Burton. Toby trying to make the tackle in space and did well to hold on. <laughs> to Wester, Illinois trying to track him down. Looks like he got just enough for the first down. Gate. Richardson rolling again. Wester got tangled up over there with get the Apple Watch. Flip it out to the flats. Tony Johnson dragged down. Look who it is again. Xavier Scott. Get pressure with the front four. They bring it. And there it is. Arrives right in time. Keith Randolph. Hands, and that's what you have to be able to do. Really comes underneath just the strength. It's poor technique by the left tackle, but he's still able to make the play again. A one-on-one -on -one move just pushes him out the way with Brute. Meanwhile, interesting formation here. Fagan takes a direct snap. Able to get a couple of yards. Reggie Love last week, they were going to do post-game media. Again, after a loss, he didn't have to do that. He did not have to do that. They go back to him, took a hard hit there from J. Ron Morris. But I think that's... Altmaier and company trying to stretch out this lead to the end zone. They do just that. Pat Bryant. A tug there at the end. They're going to see that every time. So now you have to get down to the nine. Caleb Griffith. Danville, Illinois native had more than enough leg and split the uprights. But Illinois with 23 unanswered points since then. Pressure comes. That's been a big part of it. That ball is deflected. You got to appreciate this Illinois defensive line. Another player for one man. Over the middle. Hit was made quickly. We'll see where this is marked. Catch was made by Start to get deeper into this second half. It's a hot day as well. They go back to McCammon on the ground. Had a gain of 25 on that fourth and one. Now he picks up another. Richardson has a wheel route. Picked up. And they get another good chunk. Flag goes flying as they found Wester. This drive is... Kind of a, a subtle fake of direction there. Ultimately, Randolph comes over to make a physical tackle. The end zone here. They go to the ground with Kobe Lewis, former Purdue Boilermaker. Is eaten up, leading the way to to Wester's at the bottom of your screen. Richardson's looking that way. Instead, one at Burton, and it's broken. Really making some plays on the ball, which is keeping them in this game. The tight end ball came out. It was Beatty, rather out on the edge, and Hot. 
Maybe a miscommunication there on where Tony Johnson was planning to finish that. Illinois has nine pass breakups today. Richardson to Tony Johnson. Excellent coverage. Look who it is again. Look up top. They want six here. It's well covered in the end zone. Tipped and intercepted in the end zone. Kneeling down is Nicario Harper. Altmeyer 20 of 29 for today. There's his 21st completion on this afternoon. And staying in bounds is McCray. Using all he can sound confident with the command and practice throughout the course of the week. Pretty clear he's going to try to sneak it here. Put in their jumbo by Isaiah Williams, who's had himself a day over the century mark in receiving yards. This time they go to McCray here, the running back. Draft to become that outlet. McCray this time on the ground, patiently moving forward. Illinois has won five straight non-conference home. Aaron Henry in his first season as the D.C. And he's done a fantastic job to hand it off again here to McCray. Working his way forward, dragging. They hand it off again here to that point. We hear about how supportive the rooms are of one another. The quarterback room, Luke Altmaier season. They were expecting to be 3-0. But chance to get on track here before conference play begins again next week. Now 0-1 in conference play after the loss to Penn State. Larry built a chance to be a very unique back in the words of Barry Lunny. Altmaier improvising. He's done that well today. Ran out of options there. Had to go. Once Pat Bryant down the sideline had to adjust to the football. Nice play from Smoke Mungin on the coverage that time. Like they've had uh, early in this game, they've got to be able to take advantage. Oh, nice punt. And it's down at what appears to be the two. Love it. Yeah, that was such a fun conversation yesterday with Aaron Henry, who, by the way, as we see Tyler Strain down here, Aaron Henry's timeout. defense has done such the a great job, injury. especially. So now Florida Atlantic comes out. Tyler Strain, by the way, limped off, kind of favoring his left leg. So hope he's okay. Uh, defense. Where culture's going to get right. I like what they're doing. I like their ability. Turning back to the football to make a, a beautiful catch there was Larry McCammon. Didn't look like a. What you want to see your offense be able to make. Doing a nice job on the under route there. But they're going to need bigger, bigger plays than just. With uh, some stations out in Southern California when he was in college. And it came full circle with the TV stint last year. But she talked about how hard that was. Right. He was running back to get on the side. Richardson facing pressure, stepped up well, and found a soft spot and more. Down the side. Order at Central Michigan. His poise in the moments of being pressured has been really impressive today. Drops back again. Another crossing route, and that one was dropped. 25 of Illinois, but hasn't scored on any of them. And that's been the difference in the game. The Illini defense when they've been when they've had their backs against the wall. Delivering strikes. Oh, breaking free out of the pack is McKinnon. The starting back they didn't have a week ago has Florida Atlantic down inside of the 10.